Another thing I wanted to bring up is luggage. Um, this is my piece of luggage. Anyway, it's a pretty big thing. But as soon as I get to the, uh, to the airport, I can check it in and I don't have to think about it anymore. And I don't get, I don't know, because I keep seeing people, and I, in fact, I've read on blogs online, on travel blogs, people like, oh, I, I'd rather give up a kidney than to have to check my luggage in. I don't like checking my luggage in. I don't get it. Why? It's like the extra five minutes you have to wait for luggage, you know, really that important? I don't know. I don't get it. I'm checking this in. That way I don't have to deal with it. I just have my backpack that I'm going to be wearing. I try to put as little in it, in it as possible. Actually, I think I just thought of the main complaint people will have is that, the luggage could get stolen. Now, I have had my luggage stolen or, you know, it never showed up. Um, it's happened twice, once with Alitalia and once with Air France. But now what I do is I have this cool thing, which I got as a present, called Track Dot. I'm not sure if you can see that, probably not. You put it in your luggage and uh, turn on the sensor and then you have an app on your phone and it basically says which airport your luggage is in. I'd much rather put that in my luggage and not have to deal with it, once again, rather than schlepping it all over. With me. I, I carry as little as I can with me when I go on a flight. I want to be as mobile as possible. mentioned something about this car as well because when I came here I didn't know how long I'd be here if I'd be here indefinitely or just a few months it turned out to be like eight months total but uh, so I didn't know what to do for a car because you need a car here anyway I ended up renting a car I found it on kayak.com and from Alpensa they were renting these cars out for eight euros a day which is like nine bucks a day which is awesome so they had a cap of like I think two or three weeks and so you know every three weeks I would go return it and then the same day pick up a new one because they kept having this deal three or four weeks something like that and uh, so anyway definitely check out kayak.com if you're renting especially from Italy because I've seen these deals in a couple places in Italy usually airports simple no frills except for that weird painting up there and uh, yeah so I'm here at the hotel except as any good translator can tell you I'm stuck here doing work because I got assigned another job and in fact I've got two jobs due like the day after I land I guess but you know I'm landing kind of late so I need to work on those but I'm treating myself I have an overpriced focaccia from downstairs and some local brew from Milan, Camallo. Actually not half bad. And now I'm gonna get some work done. What to do, I'm just troubled by you And the way you behave It's incredibly hard to explain While well, I'm ill, I'm just bothered and thrilled That someone would put up for so long Now I guess it's so long again Also, for some reason, the space in front of the seat that has all the magazines and everything like that, for some reason, I'm, I hate putting my hand in that. I'm convinced it's full of germs, too. It might just be me, but anyway, but luckily, hand sanitizer. Okay, I think we got like two and a half hours left, so not too bad. Hi, it's the next day, and I'm here in Charleston, which you can't see behind me because it's too sunny, so it's kind of backlit. But I wanted to film a bit more of the trip itself, but, well, on the plane I slept most of the way. Then when you get through security, you have these big signs saying no photography, no cell phone, blah, 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 even though a lot of people were taking pictures, but I felt like I shouldn't. And then I saw my family, my parents are here, my wife and my sister even, and so, you know, I just wanted to uh, talk to them and catch up with them and not have to film and, and do all that. So anyway, then I slept very well and I woke up and I've been getting work done and it's already 5 p.m. over the next day. 
And uh, yeah, so that was my travel. Just wanted to give you a brief account of how I travel as a freelancer because, again, I do think it's quite different from how many other people travel. I uh, hope you found some of that useful and informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Thanks. If I woke up on